We are going to announce what this year's back to school theme will be. All these cute back to schoolers. I'm gonna show you some things in this box that represent a not very healthy heart. <laughs> Could you make a wish? Why not? <laughs> to remember that I have a couple little gifts to give you. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get busy. Get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Welcome back to Not Enough Nelsons. Oh my gosh, school starts tomorrow. I'm dying. I am so excited for the kids. We are prepared. Got our school supplies and our clothes and our shoes and our backpacks and our water bottles and we are totally prepared except for there is one thing that we do every year and I love that we're doing it on the night before they go back to school. We are going to announce what this year's back to school theme will be. And so I'm gonna call down the kids and we're gonna get started. Here we go. Guys, come on down. Have a seat on the couch. Woo woo. Look at these cute kids, holy cow. We only have 10 in school this year. <laughs> That's actually a lot of kids. Guys, I have got all of these cute kids, all these cute back to schoolers. Everybody, are you ready to hear this year's theme? Yeah! All right, let's just say that this monstrous heart that's larger than oh, I don't even know what has something to do with it, okay? So let's get started. First of all, I want all of you to sit on the floor in the shape of a heart. Oh, wait, okay. Right. So, on the top of the heart. Oh, that, that's like sitting in the heart shape, but that's well, not quite like what down. I meant. I mean, all of us are gonna make a heart. Everyone sit crisscross applesauce. Ready, go. Perfect. Okay, you're the indent of the heart. And then next. I'm the two Perfect. Wow, this is a great heart. Let me read you something that I wrote in my journal to you. Yeah. Instead of remembering that I have to film this and film that, I want to take advantage to capture those moments with my kids as heart pictures. So, do you guys know what a heart picture is? This is a heart picture to me. So, when you guys were really young and when I had six more kids here at our house, all the time was always busy. But we didn't film back then. We didn't really catalog our lives very much. Something that I wanted to remember that I thought was really neat or cute, I would take a heart picture every day. So, this is what I thought to myself. I thought one day at the end of my life, I think that Heavenly Father is going to let me see all my heart pictures in like a great big photo album. I've been doing lots of filming and taking pictures, but not as many heart pictures. So I haven't stopped and said, this is special. I'm gonna put this right in my heart picture catalog. 826 times heart yeah. is mentioned in the Bible, the word heart. 400 times in the Book of Mormon. Is that not crazy? How important is it to our bodies that our heart works properly? Very important. Very important. It is that important to your spirit. This box right here represents your heart. I'm gonna show you some things in this box that represent a not very healthy heart. A rock? Rock. Is this rock soft or no. hard? Hard. 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 Having a hard heart is not a very healthy heart. So next, I'm gonna to talk to you about what makes a healthy heart, okay? So these are some of the things that we need to have this year in our heart to protect our heart and keep it healthy. Paisley is one of the softest, hardest people I know. Like sometimes she starts crying even just talking about how much she loves somebody in our family. That means that she can let love in and she lets love out and it's really sweet and I love that about Paisley. Forever 
So this water right here represents love, okay? I want you to put you, this is you, this is representing you, right in the middle of your heart. This one right here is all of your friends, your family, and people that you're around. And I want you to watch what happens when you spread love, okay? What happens when you spread love? Okay, I'm gonna have you guys pour a little bit on yours and see what happens. And I will When the sky is falling I promise you I'm all in No turning back And every day As you see, the love, when you give it, it spreads, right? Their love spreads to you, your love spreads to them, and everybody is filled with the color of love. Yeah. That's how love works. When you give it out, you receive more. So this represents love and the love of Christ, right? And it's unending. We know that, right? That's what's so cool about love is it's unending. But now we're gonna talk about one more heart. And that heart is super important. That heart is Heavenly Father's heart. I'm gonna talk to you about what is in this bag right here. What is it? What is this? An airplane. A really cool thing about an airplane is they have to see where their course is taking because even if they're off by one or two knots, even if they're off by that much, did you see how much I moved the plane? Yeah. Like that much. If they're off by that much, when they go 9,000 miles, they end up in a whole different part of the world than if they went dink this way. And so this reminds me that we need to be aligned with Heavenly Father. When an airplane crashes, they always say how they located the black box. It's the most important information about the plane. Well, first of all, about the log, how they log. This is a gift I want to give you for this year. This has to do with logging. This is ledger. Ooh. All right, Super so cute. this is a journal. And this year, every night when you go to bed, even if you only enter one sentence, I really, really want you every, at least every school night, to even enter one sentence of what happened that day. Find something about that day that was special, something that was neat, something you really want to remember at the end of your life, and just write it down a little bit about it and put the date. We are going to make something, a box that represents our like heart and our little black box, right? That's gonna be safe. I'm gonna have each of you write on a piece of paper just a few things, even just a few words of what is most important to your heart and what should stay most important to your heart no matter what. Wash me in the water Cleanse me in the mercy of your love I need a heavenly treasure very most, but if everything else fell apart in the world, that these are the things that you would hold safe in your black box in your heart, right? The very most special things in your life. And we're gonna put them in here. Make sure you put your name on the back. As you guys put your treasures, your most special things in here, I want you to grab one of these hearts, and I want you to kiss the back, and make a special wish for this year, and put it in the box. It's gonna help me stand. It's gonna help me stand. Every now and then I get a feeling in my bones <laughs> Did you make a wish? Oh. It filled the intensity of Sadie's wish. Are you ready for your wish? Uh-uh. So I hit my knees And I'm crying now, please Oh, Lord, won't you bring me back home? like 
the theme this year. And so whenever we want to tell each other, remind each other, or think about it, this is the sign. So remember that I have a couple little gifts to give you. So these are going to represent your heart and you can wear them and every time you look at them, you can think, how is my heart doing? This will remind you while you're at school to think about other people's heart and how you can spread love. Please don't be mad. Very right here, and then we're gonna make a heart out of all the rocks over the top of it so we know right where it's at next year. When I simply don't obey, I try my best, I like to say, Jesus, please hold on. When I simply don't have a song And my heart can't give you praise It doesn't care to even Alright guys, thank you so much for watching our part one of the night routine the day before school. I don't know if that's the title, but you know what I mean. But tomorrow you will see the rest of our nighttime routine. Are you guys so excited? Yeah. Alright, let's go get ready for bed. Yeah. All right.